So welcome again to this tutorial. Uh, in our last video, we had derived the torsional equation up to this end. Tau over R is equal to D theta over L. So I would recommend that you go through uh, the previous video so that you know how we arrived at this first uh, part of the torsional uh, equation. Now, to get this other segment of the equation, that is tj, t over j, then you're going to consider an elementary ring at radius r from the center. So it's just like chopping a ring from a solid. So we're going to take uh, an elementary ring here and consider it having the smallest area or the small area uh, dA. So the area of this elementary ring is dA. And it has thickness equivalent to dR. Again, in this case, we're going to take a tangential force that will be acting on this ring. So from referring from this first equation A, we can rightfully say that the smallest amount, smallest amount of shear stress acting on the ring equivalent to g theta over L times R, of which we have defined all these terms. J, G is equal to uh, modulus of rigidity. Theta is the angle of twist and L is the length of the whole uh, shaft. R, small r, is the radius of the elementary, sorry, the, the, the distance from the center of the shaft to the elementary ring. So from here, we are going to look at the smallest force. So from here, we can calculate small force or small amount of shear force that is acting on the ring We can get that by saying df is equivalent to tau times da. Now in this case, we're trying to look at the uh, relation between stress, force, and area. So basically, we know that for us to work out stress, we have to take force divided by area. So if you look at this equation, to work out for force, we'll have to take the product of shear stress, sorry, stress and area. So that is what we have done here. We just taken shear stress multiplied by the smallest area of this ring. So that equation will give us uh, the shear force. Now again, to if you look at this equation, dA can be work out, worked out by looking at, by say, 2 pi multiplied by r dr. So that would give us uh, the area, OK? Now, before we go even into this, we can rewrite this equation and say df is equivalent to tau, of which tau is given by this equation. So tau is equals to g theta over L multiplied by R, then we multiply it by dA, OK? So you can say this is equation number three. Let me have it as equation number three, and this as equation number two, OK? So to make work easier. From here, we can also work out uh, the torque on the ring okay and how do we get top so we're going to take the smallest top that is acting on the ring is equivalent to d f multiplied by r okay so d f is given by whatever we have above 
So we have g theta over L multiplied by R dA. Now this is going to be R squared. So dG because of this R. So we multiply R by R and get it as R squared. So we want to, in this case, this just top for uh, the ring, the elementary ring. Okay. So we have just assumed an elementary ring and we can get the total. The total top for the shaft on the shaft. Okay. Total top on the shaft. can be calculated by integrating this equation here. We are going to integrate from 0 to R, okay? So 0 to R of dt, and on the other side, we are also going to integrate. But look at g, theta, and L, these are all constant. So you, they won't be affected by the integral. So I'm just going to have the integral of R squared dA. Okay. If we look at this term r squared dA, it is the definition of polar moment of inertia. So it says, but r squared dA is equivalent to J, which in this case we call it polar moment of inertia. Okay. Now from here, you can go back to this equation here of total torque and say that T is equivalent to G theta over L multiplied by J. So dividing both uh, sides of the equation by J, what do we get? So you see, we get, so we're going to have T over J is equivalent to G theta over L. Now here, we shall have this as our equation part B, okay? So this is equation B. So to rewrite this equation, we say combining equation A and B, we get the torsional equation. So we're going to rewrite it and say the torsional equation is given by T over J is equal to T theta over L, and that is equal to tau over R. This is simply how we derive the torsional equation. So just follow up uh, through the video, and that is how we arrive at that 